Hi everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to do an update video about my MS Lindy 26 which I bought exactly a year ago. So this is a one year update video um, and you know pretty much telling you whether I still like this bag or not. If you haven't watched my first impressions video about this bag, I will link it up here and in the description box below. But basically in that video, I covered uh, five key things about this bag, which I basically call cat stars. And if you don't know what my cat stars are, you will, can also check it in the description box below. You can check out that video whereby I talk about this kind of handbag rating system um, which I kind of started because I wanted to give my viewers or you guys um, kind of like a consistent way of bag reviews you know don't just talk about the bag but kind of like you know what's the functionality of the bag how it's versatile is it so I have 10 kind of categories but I kind of mix them up depending on if the bag is new or if the bag is old so for this particular bag when I did my first impressions video which you can check it out I only covered five areas so I cut co I covered functionality about this bag um, I covered the hardware the material the convenience whether it's a convenient or hassle free bag and I also talk a little bit about customer service because I bought this bag brand new so in this video, I there are a few things that I want to add on and I want to kind of re, revisit those points uh, which I talk about in that video. But really quickly because I do want to say, um, you know, I just I don't want to make this video too long, right? It's just a quick update. I would say that if this bag is still in my collection in five years, and that's when I will do the full spectrum of my cat stars, whereby, you know, it covers test of time, and etc right so anyway let's quickly get into my bag update so firstly let's talk about the material or basically the leather so for this leather that I got um, it is in Clemence leather and in that video I mentioned it's really super supple super soft and since you know it's been a year and I have it's not a bag that I have you know kept in storage if you followed my Instagram or you just followed me you know through my vlogs and all you do know that I do use this bag I've used this bag for traveling and not kind of like you know holiday traveling more of my work traveling and I got it onto the plane and you know I stuff it really a lot and all that so I would say that this bag um, the leather has held up really well the Clemence leather I know um, People worried that it'll be really really slouchy over time but it's only been a year for me and one thing I want to say that definitely the top uh, flap here is much softer it's not like you know jelly soft but it's definitely you can feel uh, compared to the first day I got it it's definitely softer especially at the, the in top part just here because this action of continuously open and closing this particular part of the flap is softer it's nothing that I'm worried about it's it just feels softer the other part that feels softer is this leather strap uh, kind of like this part here the handles are still really stiff it's not something that is like you know you know it's still really really stiff and hard I do wonder if it's because I do tie my tweelies here that gives it a little bit more protection I don't know but I can tell you that it's still stiff so the two parts that has softened is here the flap and the leather strap you can you can feel I mean it, it did start off fairly soft already but it is um, you know like leather like leather belts right it's softer there um, sorry there's one more part that is also soft can you see there's this like a I would say like a little dip right here and this part kind of falling in basically um, this Lindy the I would say the natural shape of it is um, kind of like this so let me show you it goes like this right when you close it kind of goes like that right here and here for me I do find that when I store my bag a little bit more the uh, where it ends at the hardware here that part has kind of dipped in um, I think it's natural I don't think it's a big problem it, I do think it's natural it's because of the bag falling in like this but the other thing that I did notice um, this part even more is because I do and I have been using a bag organizer with my bag so let me just put this inside and I can explain it's not the easiest because it's red and red but I can tell you that kind of like this bag organizer this is a size 26 bag organizer from Samoga so obviously it doesn't um, go all the way to the top it's got like a maybe 
an inch and a half so it's exactly where um, this dip is so I'm not sure if it's because of my bag organizer that you know when I I showed in my first video that when I have a bag organizer inside it's not it's not the it becomes uh, um, sorry, it doesn't become the typical Lindy shape where it's kind of like folded in the middle. It has this kind of more, uh, I would say a boxier kind of shape. So this is where the bag organizer ends and there's where you can see the dip. Uh, whew, I don't know if that's a con or has that done something to my bag that the, the leather is now kind of softened only at this part but the rest of the part is still really intact. To be honest, I don't know. I don't have any other friends who have new Lindy's that have this kind of situation. A lot of people that I see don't actually use a bag organizer in their um, Lindy because this natural shape of the Lindy is very, very nice. So I would say the dip, as you can see, the dip should be lower, but my dip is just under the uh, lock. My dip is up here, but you know, the natural shape should be almost towards the middle of the front flap. I know I'm talking about too much about this, but I do think it's because of my bag organizer that that part, only that top part of leather here has softened, but this part is still really, really good and structured. So I would say that in this one year of taking care of the bag, using it with a bag organizer and stuffing the bag very, very well, the only two parts plus a little bit here are the only few parts that I've seen the leather really soften. And this is Clement's leather. It definitely will soften over time. Now, the other thing is the outer pockets. In my first video, I was such a freak. I would not put anything bigger than my iPhone 5. But nowadays, I have stuffed my iPhone 6 Plus with the case and this weird thing outside. I have put it out there like this. It can go in a little bit more, yeah. So I have used it. It hasn't damaged any part of the leather. It hasn't, then no, the leather hasn't like flipped out. It looks nothing. So don't be so concerned about stretching this leather out. I have put my iPhone 6 Plus plus a wallet together here. It has opened up like that and it still looks really good. So it's, there's nothing to worry about. Maybe you guys weren't worried, but I was. I was like, <gasps> not putting anything big in there. No, no, no. Still on the material, and I think this question, um, a few people has asked me as well, is whether the grains has um, gotten less grainy. <laughs> if you have seen Togo leather and you've seen Clement's leather, this kind of grains is quite small and quite, I would, would I say flat? I don't know if I say it's flat, but it's definitely more, uh, it's very, very small, right? You know how leather over time, if you keep rubbing it, it maybe the the indentation will go away or you know get kind of smoothened out. To be honest, it hasn't. It is still grainy, if that's the right word. It's still grainy, and the corners uh, where you know when there's really a lot of grains, and then the corners here where those grains are kind of smoothed out. You know, it's yeah, it looks okay. I don't see any issue with that. So the material to me has held up really really well in this past year that I've used it. There is no concern about Clement's leather being like mashed potatoes. So if that is your concern about Clement's leather, I can assure you that in this one year of me really using this bag, I mean I do have other bags to rotate, but I have used this bag quite a lot. I do take care of it with the bag organizer and all. It's It still looks store brand new. I really can assure you, it looks brand new. Next is the hardware, and in my other video, I did mention that isn't much hardware. There is the four, uh, sorry, five feet here, the two zips, and then this particular uh, turn lock. So to me, hardware is super shiny. It's still perfect. I have actually, <laughs> I'm not embarrassed actually, but my stickers are still on this uh, pl plate here. At the bottom feet, the stickers have actually come off, so I've actually put new stickers on it. So I haven't had any problems or scratches on my hardware. And in that other video, I did mention how this part, you know, when I want to kind of turn it towards my body and wear it this way. So let me show you. So I kind of like wear it this way. 
it pokes me actually um, it doesn't anymore it, and that the reason why is like this it's just that because when I had my bag organizer inside right like this because it was so new this part was kind of sticking out kind of a little bit just a little bit so I wore I was like hey I don't want to be hurting you know damaging the hardware but in less than let's say two months it has softened to go uh, upwards towards the sky so obviously it does no it no longer bothers me so and really that problem in my first video is because of the bag organizer if you didn't use the bag organizer and you don't really you know not really concerned about scratches on the inside of the bag you won't face the problem of that or that kind of like I was like why is the hardware sticking out because it's all hidden you see it's all hidden inside there's no there's just no way so basically you can ignore that initial part of what I said about how that hardware was like kind of sticking out it doesn't really it it did but it didn't last for long you know what I mean so yeah it looks amazing without the bag organizer I really like it this way it's just that you know I'm so scared I'm still I still am okay so I'm still using the bag organizer in terms of how I've been using this bag I have been absolutely loving the two options of carrying this bag which is the shoulder strap as well as the two handles I love carrying it like this I love carrying it like that anytime I need my hands free I can just quickly uh, strap it on with the uh, top handle here and just carry it it is so convenient so even in my first video I did say that this bag is made so clever right so clever you could hand held hand hold it and then you can also put it on your shoulder crossbody doesn't bother me for this bag because it, it looks so elegant like this in my video I have a modeling shot so you can check it out and yeah I really 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 love the way how convenient it is right with the handles the part where I know a lot of people were worried about um, with the two zips and how you close it whether that's inconvenient or not to be honest um, I haven't had any problems with it in fact I have been a little bit I would say reckless because when I'm using this bag I don't actually zip it up I seriously don't I literally just put it on my shoulder so let me do that again so I put it like that and it's basically all opened <laughs> I'm going out like this because my hand falls like here and really it's too small for anybody to pick my pocket so if I'm a in a really crowded place I do zip it up I'll just pull it in like this just quickly zip and zip and because you know the turn locks there that's just absolutely safe yeah so I haven't had any problems with the opening this flap just flips open and I can see everything inside because it's just one big box is even better than the speedy because the speedy was just like a zip and you have to open it like this but this is literally a flat and a big hole so you can see everything inside with obviously the organizer it is so much better i would say the samoga organizer um you know i've been seeing so many other people buy other types of bag organizers I think there are better ones out there right now I would say that this is quite hard this may be good for like a Birkin but maybe for the Lindy it should go for a little, something a little bit softer so I'm quite tempted after I saw Mel in Melbourne um, introduce her bag organizers the Ruparidis or something she said it's really nice it's velvety and all but it's expensive so I haven't had the heart to buy it I yeah you know I just stick with this for now because I don't want something extra expensive into my bag anymore so I haven't bite the bullet to buy it yet so I'm just sticking with my Samoga but yeah if you are willing to invest in a bag organizer I would say try and get something that's a little bit more soft for the Lindy not really so much for the Birkin or the Kelly I think for the Lindy it needs a little bit more like something that's a little bit softer this this can be a just a little bit stiff I would say yeah stiff that would be the right word now I'll talk about this I want to talk about the size a little bit so this is a size 26 so basically it's 26 uh, inches across oh sorry 26 centimeters across inches <laughs> 26 centimeters across and it's basically almost the same si uh, size as the speedy B or speedy 25 it is yeah it's basically the same size right so I would say
say it is quite a nice size for me. I am 5 foot 4 inches. I've seen the size 30. I think 30 would be fantastic if you're going for like traveling, you know, uh, where you can put more things inside. But I don't know, I've seen some ladies carry the 30. I find that maybe the 30 um, strap drop to here seems a little bit bigger. So if you are taller than me or if, you know, if you're a bigger girl, you know, that kind of thing, I would say that a 30 definitely looks better. But for me, the 30 looked a little bit overwhelming as a shoulder bag. But as a top handle bag, 26 or 30 doesn't really, you know, doesn't really matter. Only when you carry it as a shoulder bag. So I'm very, very happy with my size 26. I think this is a very good choice uh, for anybody that my size or even a little bit smaller. If you're a little bit taller, you could definitely get away with a 30. I think the 30 needs a little bit like, you know, you need a little bit more height for a 30. So that's the only thing that I did notice. I've seen ladies carry 30. I'm like, oh, that looks a little bit big. As like this, it's okay, but as a top uh, bag, it will look it will look like a handbag, you know, like a big. This looks just cute. So I do really, really, really like the size 26. And finally, for the price. So when I bought this, I bought this brand new at the Hermes store in Singapore. Um, I did notice uh, a lot of the resellers. Because I follow a few resellers and I will you know, put their names in the description box below if you're interested. You know, you can't get one from the shop. Um, I did notice that they were selling brand new pieces with the original receipt for less than what I got it for. So, I don't know if Amaz actually decreased the price for this particular bag. Probably maybe a few hundred dollars. I don't know really because when I saw brand new pieces on the reseller market, I was like, eh? Is it cheaper? Hang on, I, I really don't know how they can actually get it cheaper. Probably they bought it like in France and after conversion, they still made a little bit more than what they paid for, but it's still less than what you would buy in retail. So, uh, the only thing that I would say buying from a reseller is to make sure that it's a reputable reseller and you, know, the, you get it authenticated no matter what. And yeah, if you're not too bothered about getting it from the shop, you can definitely get these bags brand new, save a few hundred dollars and get it from the reseller. So yeah, unlike the Birkins and the Kellys, which are pretty much uh, more expensive, you want to get brand new from the resellers. I did find that the Lindy's brand new, you could actually get them from resellers cheaper. So price-wise, I really don't know. I couldn't give it a star. I was thinking, oh yes, you know, the price has gone up. But I couldn't say that because I was looking at the resellers going like, eh, it's cheaper. <laughs> so, scratch hit, okay. So this is my quick update for my Lindy, my one year update for it. I absolutely still love this bag. It is very precious to me. It is my first freaking expensive handbag and I absolutely love it. I think you know, if I had to repurchase a Lindy again, I would still pick this size, uh, this kind of combination. And yeah, I absolutely love it. I have no concerns about uh, Clemence. The only thing that haunts me is getting it in a different material. Like, I really, really want to get another Lindy size 26 in Swift Leather or Evercolor. Oh, is it Evercolor? Yeah, Evercolor. I feel like those are so stunning like yeah it's so beautiful the, it takes the, that leather swift or the ever color leather takes on this you know the bright colors so well and they even have it in dual combination so i think that is if i ever if it ever happens to me again like i can i mean blessed <laughs> with another lindy it will be a dual colored dual colored lindy when in ever color or swift so that is that should be on my wish list but as of now i absolutely still love this bag if you ever get a chance to get one of the amaz bags i think the lindy um is a really good choice birkin and kelly's are classics i would say and this is also a classic bag but there is something just different about this bag the way it just looks it is one of i i mentioned in my um handbag collection video that this is one of the few bags that I have that 
catches people's attention. Birkins, obviously, Kelly's obviously because they are, you know, they're kind of up their bags. But the Lindy by itself looks just so unique. Like when I look at it, it's so, it's so different. You know, I, yeah, I don't have any bag like that in my collection, obviously. But, you know, it doesn't, that just, just looks so, it looks like an art piece. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like melting with, yeah, it, it's so pretty. So anyway, that is my quick update video. I hope you enjoyed. Do check out my initial one, which I do go into more depth about each video and how I liked it. But use this video to kind of uh, get an update, you know, like, oh, did I say that? Do, what, do I still feel it now? So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about this bag, let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in my next